Yes, without a doubt. I mean, it's kind of conceivable that Tesla might use this route to transport commodities between its various North American locations as well as parts and batteries. But it also kind of follows a trajectory that starts in Laredo and then passes through Phoenix, Southern California, and finally Vermont. It's interesting that there is a major push to electrify, you know, low-income neighborhoods, and it stops in Compton and Bakersfield. The Biden administration is therefore well aware of the effects diesel fuel has on low-income and port areas. The cities selected are therefore somewhat intriguing from that angle as well. The entire EV industry will be shocked by what Tesla just did. Recall when Tesla declared that its semi-truck would have a megawatt level of charging. The manufacturer recently took a significant step towards making this a reality, so this is set to take place. There are a lot of reasons why Tesla's most recent move will succeed, and we'll explain them all to you in this video. So make sure to stick around as we give you all the information on this recent change. Let's start now. Let's examine the map first. We're discussing a route from Laredo, Texas, all the way up to Northern California. What did you discover about Tesla's goals? Yes. President Biden's infrastructure bill includes a significant amount of funding to expand EV charging. And we frequently concentrate on passenger automobiles when we discuss EV charging. But there is a great opportunity in heavy-duty trucking if we want to truly electrify transportation in the U.S. Because there isn't a strong EV charging infrastructure for the Class 8 vehicles that are currently available. We don't actually have many electric trucks on the road yet. Therefore, Tesla is looking for money to create this kind of line from Northern California to Texas, where they also have a facility. Therefore, it makes sense that they would sort of take this route. We are aware that the semi-truck will be utilized to sort of transport Tesla products domestically, and it is also a very important trucking route. In Texas, generally speaking, a lot of trucking occurs. So, you know, nothing is finalized just yet. Tesla is requesting federal support for this sort of project. However, it only offers a fascinating glimpse into some of Tesla's plans and ideas. And their policy team has always been very astute at utilizing any available government cash. Tesla's stock price has risen dramatically over the past year, driven by investor confidence and upbeat forecasts even more. The stock analysis and predictions depict a business that is ready for exponential growth. While employing a new method of operation, Tesla also strives to help its rivals by supporting other automakers' electrification initiatives. In the end, Tesla gains from supporting the entire electric vehicle industry by growing the overall market and securing its position as the market leader. Hello everyone, and please join us tomorrow at Tesla. Tesla intends to construct charging infrastructure for its semi-trucks. Tesla's semi-owners will be able to charge their vehicles using the chargers, which are anticipated to produce more than a megawatt of power. In order to construct a network between Texas and California in the United States, the company is also requesting assistance from the Department of Transport in the amount of $100 million. According to sources, nine charging locations are being considered, and each location will have 12 semi-chargers, each with a capacity of about 750 kilowatts. That's not all, though. In addition to dedicating eight of these chargers to its semis, Tesla is also adding four more chargers at each of the nine locations so that electric trucks from other manufacturers can also use them. How will this help Tesla and its stockholders then? Let's investigate. But first, please click the like button if you enjoy this kind of stuff. To be informed about everything Tesla related, turn on notifications and subscribe to our channel. Initially scheduled for introduction in 2019, the Tesla Semi was first revealed in 2017. The business initially specified 2019 as the intended release date, but it required more time than anticipated to make this idea a reality. The Tesla Semi program experienced multiple difficulties before it was finally completed in 2022. Tesla debuted the vehicle on December 1st, and as of today, deliveries have started to PepsiCo and UPS, two firms that requested 100 or more semis from Tesla. Electric vehicles reduce level of complexity and Tesla's autonomous driving capabilities should make shipping items across the nation more effective and secure for these businesses. Tesla's semi represents a significant development for electric semi-trucks as rivals from Nikola, Mercedes, Volvo, and Daimler haven't yet met comparable long-range goals to those used in the construction of the Tesla semi. 
if Tesla decides to allow other automakers to use its high-power charging stations, as it is progressively doing with its more standard superchargers, it may motivate companies to produce electric trucks and encourage Tesla to construct more charging stations. Although there were only roughly 2,000 electric truck charging outlets in the nation in 2019, the company once estimated the number may reach 48,000 by 2025. While Tesla's semi-charging infrastructure may initially appear to be a drawback given that the company's vehicles will be restricted to a small geographic area due to the relatively low number of stations currently available, the infrastructure will most likely prove to be a wise investment in the near future. Even if the trucking business may only be beginning to electrify, we considered that the market for passenger vehicles is unquestionably shifting towards electric vehicles. The U.S. electric truck industry is positioned to profit from recent legislative support, financial support, and local energy transition goals, according to Wood Mackenzie Research Firm, and these might drive significant growth in the following few years. Therefore, Tesla may be able to take advantage of many of these advantages and support if it can increase manufacturing of these vehicles. A number of analysts have voiced optimism on the Tesla Semi and the potential effects it may have on the company. For instance, Research analyst and report author Kelly McCoy Wood Mackenzie said in a news release that the rise of electric trucks might result in significant reductions in transportation emissions. According to her, the electric truck market is still in its infancy and will continue to grow in the future when compared to the penetration levels of passenger EVs and electric buses. While medium and heavy duty vehicles are the second largest source of U.S. transportation emissions, she continued. Much of the current attempts to reduce emissions have focused on new diesel and hybrid technologies rather than full electrification. Ross Gerber agrees that the semi-truck is significant for Tesla and calls it the company's most influential product since the Model S Gerber said that even though this truck may be pricey, it is in keeping with the current trend as more companies are producing trucks while discussing the potential of this vehicle to be a market mover. Although it's unclear how much the Tesla Semi would cost or how many vehicles will be manufactured, he also said that the company might experience tremendous sales growth for its Semi in the upcoming years. The automaker has committed to a $150,000 starting price. Therefore, consider how much money Tesla could bring in just selling a significant number of these trucks each year. The carbon emissions affect Tesla and the majority of truck firms. Advantage is dependent on the truck's success. In order to fulfill demand for trucks with an 800-kilometer range, Tesla intends to ramp up production of the Semi, and the anticipated megacharger is rumored to have a capacity of between 750 and 1,000 kilowatts. The Tesla Semi truck gains 400 miles in 30 minutes. In order to prepare the facility for the impending supply of its Semi trucks to the corporation, Tesla already installed its megachargers for Semi trucks at PepsiCo's Modesto production facility. As it begins shipping more Tesla semi-trucks, the carmaker will probably set up more high-power megacharger stations in permanent sites. What do you think of the most recent Tesla plan? Please share your thoughts in the comments area for more riveting Tesla news. Click the next video that appears on your screen. We have a great deal to tell you. Hello there.